Welcome back. Tuesday is senior night at the dunk for PC superstar Bryce Cotton, a potential All-American. Cotton has been the heart and soul of the Friars all season long. J.P. Smallins has more on his historic season and what's next for the guard. <laughs> He was the Big East leading scorer and a first team pick as a junior, but the closing chapter of Rice Cotton's career even better. The guard upping his league average three points a game, while on his way to becoming the first Friar to earn back to back first team honors since Ryan Gomes in 2005. My senior year, it's been one to remember for sure. So I've been a roller coaster, a whole bunch of different emotions, but I've loved it. And, you know, the fans have made this an amazing journey for me. And uh, hopefully we can make this a uh, run to remember for them as well. Arden could be the player of the year in the Big East. I mean, obviously McDermott has had a sensational year. But when you look at what his value has been to our team and what he's done in our league, uh, it, it, it's going to be really tough not to have him as a player of the year candidate. Maybe not just in the Big East, but nationally. He's done a really, really good job for us. At a position he wasn't initially expecting to play, the Arizona native stepping in at the point when Chris Dunn went down with a shoulder injury in November, leading the Big East in assists and minutes played. Nobody really knows. I played point guard pretty much my whole life before I came to college, so it's not something that's completely you know, new to me, but um, it's been fine for me, and I've, I haven't surprised myself. I've known I can do this, and... Um, uh, my teammates have obviously made the load a whole lot easier for me because they're knocking down shots, so it, it takes the pressure off of me. His success as a scorer and this year as a distributor, giving Pro Scouts a whole new view of Bryce, and that versatility could make him the latest Friar to hear his name called in the NBA draft. You know, I've thought about that since you know, I was a little kid, and I still have that same plan in mind, and um, you know that'll take care of itself once the season's over, but for right now, he's still got business to send to it. Well, he's somebody who continues to emerge. I think people at the next level are seeing that. Uh, he's getting more comfortable with the ball. You know, in the NBA, it's about can you run a ball screen offense? Uh, a lot of times, can you, can you be a specialty guy? Uh, that'll be something that at the end of the season and, you know, as people continue to evaluate him where he stands. Right now, we love him for what he does for us, and he's the most valuable player we have. At Alumni Hall, I'm J.P. Smollins, Eyewitness Sports.